Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to the first Mystic Airbrush show. This is gonna be hopefully the first of many tutorials for you guys because I've decided I want to show you and transfer as much as I can of my knowledge and my experience in the field. I am not someone who likes to talk a lot or who likes to explain what he's doing so I really hope that you don't mind if I'm too slow or if I'm too silent or if I don't give a fuck <laughs> This is fun! <laughs> For our first tutorial video we are gonna do some like there's probably a million videos like this on, on YouTube, but but these lightnings are gonna be fucking amazing. Let's see what we got. So the first thing we're gonna do is establish some pathways for the lightnings. And you can use a reference photo. I don't need it because I've done it a million times. So just loosen up your hand and uh, yeah, make sure you don't overdo it. It's easier to fill it in later. If you feel an area is empty, you can always add more, but yeah. Do the big ones first, spread them apart a little bit, and then you can fill it in with uh, like branches of lightning. Okay, we all know how lightning looks like, we've seen it a hundred times. And uh, it's not a straight line, it's not... Mm, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's do it. Fuck it. It's pretty hard to make a mistake with this. Maybe this is a mistake. They're too similar looking. But we're gonna fix that later.
So now we're gonna paint this area just for the sake of the tutorial. We're gonna paint only one lightning, start to finish, and I'm gonna talk about it and then I'll shoot how I do the rest of the helmet and maybe speed up the video a little bit. So let's start. First thing we need to do is give it some more white. Our paint is pretty thin right now, so maybe we can add some more paint, make it a little bit thicker, and then it's easier. You can fill it in faster. Just follow your guidelines. And remember, it's always brighter at the start than it is in the end. So once again, don't overdo it, right off the bat. Okay, that's the first step. So now it's time to give it a little bit of detail. And we're gonna do that by getting in real close. And we're gonna shake our hand a little bit, follow this guideline, but not straight, follow it and give yourself some space to wiggle inside of it. You don't need a steady hand for this, you want to be shaky. So give it some sudden Direction changes. And make it, make your dagger stroke at the end. You want to give it a, a nice sharp ending. Pointy, not sharp, pointy. There we go. Now you can make it brighter. Add some more light to it. This is all just setting it up. Looks great. Okay, the next thing we're doing is we're going back with our blue, highly diluted blue, and we're just spraying from a distance, and giving it this nice blue neon effect. Already looks cool, doesn't it? 
So maybe you think this is finished, but it's not. We can make it even better. And this is my favorite part. Take your white again. Make sure you're spraying nice. Yeah. Yeah. And now, get in really close and tight and give it some detail look. Next step, what I like to do is add a little baby lightnings around this one, like they're intertwined or... Yeah, you'll get the picture. Looks pretty cool. Sometimes you can intertwine them like this, or give them a little side run.
Okay, next we have to paint some hot spots and I like to put them randomly or at the like where the lightning divides, maybe there's a bright spot. Or where it turns suddenly, you can put it there too. Just spraying lightly from the distance. big one here. Maybe I want this line to be a little thicker because the lightning is usually thicker at the beginning and then it kind of then it kind of fades out and gets a little bit more skinny. Okay, let's do another one. Maybe I make it a little bit thicker. Yeah, that works better. And you can work faster. I have a little hot spot here. 
Any questions, tips, nasty letters, whatever, put it down in the comment section. I'll read it, I promise. Anyway, this is my face. I'm sorry. Maybe you have to get used to it from now on. I hope I can do this more often. Thank you.